Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is March 26th, 2019, and today we are going to be wrapping up our vertical splits. And it's a little cool this morning. It's probably about, oh, maybe up 52, 54 degrees, something like that. It's a little chilly. It's a little overcast, but it's going to clear out and we're supposed to hit the 70s today. It's going to be a great day to be working the bees today. So what are we going to be doing today? I mean, we've been working on this process of our vertical splits now for 17 days. And in that time frame, we've taken our double screen dividing boards and we've, we've taken these with their entrance and we've placed them between our two brood boxes with our entrance now facing in, in the rear of the hive. We did that our first week. Then, what we did last week, we went into our hives and we were looking for the development of emergency cells. So today, it's now, it's like I said, 17 days later, and now we're, we're ready to finally go ahead and take our top box, which has our old queen in it, and, and move it off. Now, you can, once you go and find out you have emergency cells in the bottom, you can, at that point, remove your top box. But again, too, because like today we had this little cool snap, when the bees are still joined together like this, they are sharing that, that heat. So the brood that's in there, they, they reap the advantage of that shared heat. But today, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm forced to now at this point to make our splits because what's, what's happened due to the really increase of, of warm weather as well as the blooming flora, I, we have got so much stuff blooming right now, the hives are actually exploding. It's, it's just unbelievable how many bees are in our boxes. So I have to take this top off because yesterday we had two of our hives swarm and they swarmed out of the top box which is where the old queen is. So what's going on is since we had 17 days since we inserted our double screen dividing board, in that 17 days the, the bees built more swarm cells, the queen laid in them and in two of our hives, they've already emerged and, and flew off. So today, not only do I, am I going to just be removing the top box, but I'm actually going to, again, be going in and looking for swarm cells and cutting them out because we do not want our boxes to swarm on us. Um, so when we, do, when we do the actual split, I'm going to take our top box and lift it up, check for the swarm cells underneath it, and at that point I'll take my double screen dividing board and it will then become my screen bottom board for this hive. Now when I take this top box off of the bottom box, I will immediately place on it another box. And that box a lot, of, a lot of the boxes that I'm going to be placing on them have already drawn out comb. Some of them are just waxed frames. But for the most part, they're drawn out comb. And I'll show you this when we get out in the field, what I'm doing. And when I, take, when I take this box off along with the double screen dividing board and place the other box on it, you have to remember that the bees in this box, their entrance to this hive was in the rear. So what I'm going to do and this little cuff right here, it's not to hold water. This cuff is holding these, these screws. Let me show you this. <laughs> it's holding these little quarter inch screws. And what I'm going to do is I'll take that quarter inch screw and place it in the center between that top box and the bottom box and creating a crack in the box. So what does the crack do? Well, the crack is now the entrance that the field bees that were in this top box they were using. And remember, I want to steal bees from this top box because when you steal bees, it lessens the likelihood of the bees swarming and by increasing the bees in the bottom of this box, it increases the production of honey. And that's what I'm all about. I'm trying to increase our honey production. Now when you do splits, there's, if, there's 
a few reasons why we do splits. One, we don't want our bees to swarm. They're going to swarm naturally. So we're trying to control the swarm by splitting it. Also, by doing our splits, we interrupt the life cycle, the, the, the brood cycle, and by interrupting that brood cycle, we also interrupt the, the reproduction of mites. So breaking that brood cycle will then lessen, uh, it'll slow down the mite production. And I've had a lot of success in doing it this way as far as our, our, our mite count being very, very low. So we're going to go ahead, remove our box, place another box on it, place a screw in it, and then we're going to start stealing these bees. And I'm not really concerned because I have to check the swarm cells in this box. I'm not concerned if I've got hundreds of bees in the air because when I put this bottom, this, this new box back on top right here, all those hundreds of bees, they're going to come right back into this box and the box that I take off, that number of bees is going to decrease. And that's my whole intent. I want to steal bees from this box. Well, I believe that's about all, all I've got to, to, to say about the process that we're getting ready to do. So, by the grace of God, we'll go in the back. I'll show you the, um, the development of the bees and why we're doing this and the process of putting boxes on, taking the uh, old box off, moving it off the stand, and then setting up the stand. And we've got so many bees in our boxes that even the hive that I, re I, I take off, the top box that I take off, I'll be placing a second box on this. And by stealing our queen's bees and by adding another top to it, it really, really does decrease the likelihood of them swarming because now they have a lot of room uh, and they have fewer bees to, uh, to swarm with. So let's get in the back and start wrangling some boxes. All right, so we're ready to do our, our final splits, our taking of the top box, moving it to the side, first checking for swarm cells, and then moving it to the side, adding another box, and adding another box to the old hive as well as the new hive. Remember, we're moving our old queen off. Now, I know I showed you that nice cup with all those screws in it. Well, I left it up in the front. So, um, I'm improvising. Instead of a screw, I'm using a little piece of quarter inch plywood for my shim in the back. And like I said, this plywood, it just elevates the back of the box. And so all the field bees or any bees that went in the air as we're manipulating the hive, they're going to come to that box. So what I didn't mention is how long do I leave this shim in there? I'm going to leave this shim in there for maybe, maybe three days, two probably. And after that, I pull it out. And after that, the bees will figure out where they're supposed to, where the real entrance of the hive is, which is in the front. So let's go ahead. I got Chef Randy from the Arkansas Adventure. He's uh, giving me a hand here. Uh, there he is. And uh, so he's, he's helping manipulate the boxes, move them, and uh, drop the screens in and doing all the work with me. So I'm going to go ahead and lift off the top on this one. And uh, I'm, I'm going to show you uh, what's going on with these bees because there's, there's a lot going on. Now, remember I told you that these bees are just exploding. They're just exploding. And I lift off the top and the bees are covering the surface of this inner cover right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up the box put a little smoke on them and I'm going to check for uh, swarm cells. So let's, let's do that part right now. Alright, I'm going to grab the camera and show you how developed these bees are. Folks. And this is, this is why these bees are already starting to swarm. Now remember, this is our top box and in the top box is our queen. And so when they're crowded like this, and they are crowded, they're going to say, man, we're running out of space. We need more room, so let's go ahead and swarm. So the queen's in there. They'll start drawing out the swarm cells, and she'll lay in them, and this hive will swarm. So there aren't any cells developed in this box, but you can see there are a lot of bees. So when we push this box off to the side, we're going to go ahead and add another super to this one as well as our, our super to the bottom one um, also. And by doing that, we're going to capture whatever these bees that are flying in the air right now, and their entrance is right, right here. 
we're going to put our shim right here and we're going to capture our, our bees. We don't have any swarm cells in here, which is great. So we're going to go ahead and put the hive back together. We know we're going to have to add another one, another super to this or else they will swarm. So we're going to put this together. Twist it off. It's stuck. Now we're going to grab this, and our bottom board will come off, but that's okay. I'm going to just set it here for a second. Pick up our bottom board. Look at the bees in the bottom box. Now you see I'm turning it, I'm rotating, so our entrance is now in the front. And move, girls, move. And that's basically the split. So now what we have to do, look at the bees. That's 10 frames of bees in here. Now there's no way that these bees can form swarm cells. They, can, they cannot form swarm cells. And the reason being, there's no queen in here that's laying. So these bees, they're just growing in number. All the brew that was in there, they're hatching out. And now we're fixing to steal more bees from over there. So we definitely need to put another box. And this whole time that these bees are in this box without a queen laying, all they're doing is they're going out here and bringing in nectar. This, this box right here is most assuredly going to produce honey for us. So I'm going to smoke these guys down a little bit. Now I'm going to grab a box. And like I said, these boxes are in different stages of being developed as far as the wax on the frame. They're either drawn out already or this one has just got the triple coating wax on it. So we got our box on here. Get our frames lined up. inner cover on it. Now we're going to put another, the old cover on it because I'm going to need to write on this. All right, so all, right. all these bees that are clustering right back here, they were the bees that used to be in this box. So we want to take these bees. We want these bees to go back in this box. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an opening for these bees. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my quarter inch piece of wood, plywood, lift it up, and set it down. Now this crack, as you can see, it's big enough. The bees can get into that very easily. So all these bees that are in the air right now that used to belong to this box, they're going to come back to this box because that's the box they know. And this box over here, the ones that bees are flying out of it right now, they're going to fly out of that box and they're going to come over to this box, which is a good thing. So I'm going to grab another deep super and I'm going to set it on top of our old box and then the split will be complete. And there you have it, folks. Another split done. Uh, as you can see, look at the bees gathering on here. That's a good thing. I love seeing this. These are just the, the, the bees that were in the hive, but we're also going to have the hive bees that are out, out in the, the field bees that are in the field. They're coming in. They're going to come to the back, too. Yes. So that, that's all I got for you on this video. This is the final step of, of doing our splits where we actually will remove 
the bodies, the hard bodies, separate them out, and put them on our stand. Now, I know one of the questions that, that a lot of y'all are going to be wondering is, well, how can you just move a box over to the other place? How can you do that without blocking it up or doing something? Well, the whole idea is that when the bees come out of there, they're going to come right back to here, to this box. And that's why we can do it. You can do it when you do your splits. It's how, that's how we steal our bees. So it's one of the advantages of doing it this way instead of doing a walk away where you just put your box to the side and the bees will leave one time. We've stolen bees out of this box two times already uh, and, and what we're doing is demoralizing our queen and we're trying to prevent the, the swarm from them happening because this is where we're going to lose our swarm from is from the old queen, not from the new one. She's moved in and that's home. So that's all I got for you on this one. Thanks for watching. I really hope that uh, this whole little series of, of how I'd make our splits, how I make vertical splits, uh, might help you all in, in your process and maybe give you another way of looking at how to do splits. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video. We have got some great entries into our Swarm Catch Challenge uh, to post on this video. So just keep sending them in. Uh, I'll leave my address in the description where you can send them. But keep on sending them because I love posting them. Well, folks, here I am. It's March 23rd. I'm at that little garage in Mandeville. I only got four traps set here. Well, let's see. There's a swarm right there. That box has bees in it. Oh, here's some on this one, too. That's two out of two. Let's walk over here. And three out of three. And let's go check out the one right over there. Four out of four. <laughs> so I'm going to wait another week and these guys are coming down.